I, you know, the, I'm afraid you're right. Yeah, as, as Bush uh, uh, said, it, it, you know, a dictatorship uh, is a lot easier as long as he's a dictator. Sure. Now, um, now the the people are waking up to Obama, though. I mean, his polls are dropping. A lot of people are figuring out that the cult of Obama is a fraud, is a scam. Uh, but then that almost encourages him to go ahead and launch a war, doesn't it? I really don't know. I, I think, you know, the signs are not very good, especially the uh, uh, Biden threat. Uh, okay. It was just reprehensible. And I think, uh, you know, for the good of our republic and for the good of humanity, we're going to have to go all out and, and stop the uh, this neocon agenda for uh, war against Iran and the uh, destabilization and crack up of uh, Pakistan. Understand, Pakistan has nukes. Um, who knows what would happen if, if Pakistan were to crack up? Um, all right. Well, we appreciate uh, Dr. Francis A. Boyle joining us briefly. Tell us about the new book, Tackling America's Toughest Questions, Alternative Media Interviews. Right. Uh, this book tries to uh, go back uh, to September 11th. It starts there and deals with all the atrocities that the Bush administration and his neocons inflicted on the United States Constitution, the Bill of Rights, international law uh, and human rights uh, and, and world order, uh, literally until they walked out of office by giving Israel the green light to blow up Gaza and literally exterminate 1,400 uh, Gazans for uh, nothing at all. Um, and then, you know, there's a, a brief conclusion, you know, where I say, you know, that unfortunately it looks like under Obama uh, we're going to have a, a continuation of many of the uh, Bush policies sort of flavored by a lot of the Clinton people. And remember, the Clinton people, all the Clinton foreign affairs people, these are the sons and the daughters of the best and the brightest that gave us the Vietnam War, uh, as documented by David Halberstam. Remember, McNamara just died uh, yesterday. I'd encourage you to read the best and the brightest. Uh, John Kennedy was elected president, recruited the best and the brightest from Harvard, and they gave us the Vietnam War. They gave us the Cuban Missile Crisis. They gave us ICBMs and SLBMs, uh, et cetera. So this is the next generation of, of these elitists, and Obama is one of them. You know, a bright young man from Harvard Law School, uh, a charming wife. You know, uh, I, I forget, Jackie went to Vassar. Uh, well, Michelle, you know, went to Princeton and Harvard Law School. And, you know, it, it looks like a bit of history all over again. God help us. Well, I hope to talk to you again in the near future. Take care, Doctor. All right. Thanks a lot, Alex. Again, we... my best to your uh, listening audience. But, you know, let's get out there and get organized. That's what we have to do. We have to stop these people. Absolutely. Take care. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's what they do. They wrap themselves in the flag and then just engage in every treason you can imagine while looting and robbing the public. And they say, hey, look, the Iranians look different from us. Let's kill them. And the average American says, okay, let's murder them. Yeah, it feels, that sounds powerful. That sounds manly. And they can't even find Iran on a map. So the CIA stages some shootings and... You know, stay out of their business. Leave them alone. The, 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 the criminals that run our country are running around handing weapons out to anybody that will take them. So they have an excuse to then go later have a war with them. So they can sell weapon systems. I mean, God help us. You know, the CIA was founded by all of the people from Yale. And the rest of the government's run by all the people from Harvard. And they just think they're God's gift. They're going to shoot us up with their vaccines. They're going to put the fluoride in our water. They're going to start their wars. They're going to just arrogantly stomp all over us and tell us how to live our lives. Well, I'm not your slave. I'm sick of your warmongering. And I'm sick of you squeezing this country dry for, for your global government. They sacrificed the United States' credit and name and industrial might to fund the world government. And now they're done with us. We're on our last leg. And they're just running out. 
the company credit card. They're just running up the debt in our name while they got all the real assets for it. And it's just a, it's just an abominable crime. Meanwhile, the general public is just telling us how wonderful Michael Jackson is, how he's a hero to black people.